I wanted to ask you a little bit about your series of illustrations um, on Syria. Um, in your book, you describe it as a collaboration that you're proudest of. Why were you particularly proud of this project? This collaboration with a uh, young Syrian writer, Marwan Hisham, who at the time was living in Raqqa under ISIS occupation, was the thing I'm proudest of because so rarely do Syrian voices ever actually get in the media. So rarely, right? And if they do get in the media, it's like a spokesperson for something or it's, you know, an elite writer. And there's nothing wrong with spokespeople and there's nothing wrong with elite writers. But Marwan is like a brilliant young working class guy who's also a brilliant writer. And just the fact that I was able to get some a voice like his in Vanity Fair with my art is something that I'm immensely proud of. And then also, I mean, in this collaboration, um, in Raqqa, Mosul, and then later in rebel-held, not ISIS-held Aleppo, he took uh, photos and then I drew from them. And I just feel that these images, they have a uh, power and they have a view that I feel is some of the finest of my work. And the thing is, it's not just my view, right? Because if I go to Gaza, for instance, I'm choosing the shot, whereas in this, Marwan was choosing the shot. Marwan was the one being like, look at these children digging through trash, look at what bullshit it is that ISIS says that they're paying for everyone because they're children looking for stuff in the trash. And he gave me a huge selection to choose from, but ultimately it was a visual collaboration yes. because he was the one that presented me with those things. And so I think that getting images that would be impossible to get, uh, amplifying the voice of this brilliant young person and creating art I'm really proud of, that's why I'm proudest of that piece. Is there an element of pressure in that though as well? Because you're given an image that was taken by somebody else and essentially in drawing it, you're trying to somehow edify it or work on it or focus in on something. So was there an element of pressure in doing that? Oh, well? oh God, I mean, I wanted to live up to it, right? I mean, he had taken such risks and he's such a, an amazing writer and he wrote accompanying essays for some of the pieces yeah. that God, I wanted to live up to that, my God. Um, I showed him all the pieces before I gave them into my editor to make sure that I had gotten things right. But yes, I did want to live up to it.